Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to validate the emails as a second layer of protection. For this, we're going to use Zero Bounce, and for our automation, we're going to use Public Connect. That way, you can validate emails before they reach your email marketing service or CRM that you want to use. So, let me show you how this is accomplished right now. This is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating a simple form. So let's go ahead and go into create a form. We're going to select start from scratch. And in this case, we're going to use classic form. This is going to open up our job form builder. Let's go into our form elements. And for this, we're going to use full name, phone number, and email address. We can keep our form as simple or as complex as needed. This is just for demo purposes. Okay, so now we have the name field, phone number, and the email. Now let's go ahead and go into settings, integrations, and we're gonna search for webhook. Okay, now we're ready here. Now let's go into our next step. For this automation, we're going to use Pabli Connect, but you can use other automation services that have webhook. So let's go into create a workflow. And in this case, we're gonna call it job form and zero bounds go ahead and create it okay this is our main builder let's search for jot form here we go and we're going to select the trigger so every time a new response is created it's gonna add a trigger to it we're going to need this webhook let's go ahead and copy it let's go back into jot form paste our webhook here and complete integration there we go. Let's finish. Let's go back into Pavli just to show you something. So now this is waiting for a webhook response. So what we're going to do is fill out that form one time so it sends the information to Pavli so it knows what information it needs to capture every single time that a form submission is created. So let's go into Publish, open a new tab, and let's fill this out quickly here. Let's add a random phone number for now and a valid email. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's been submitted. Let's go back into Pavli. And we should be receiving that response in a bit. There we go. It just received it. And we have all this for information captured from JotForm. So JotForm sends all this information. And every single time that a submission is made, it's going to send all this information. So we have this field, which is the email. So that is a variable. That means that every single time that the form is filled out and a different email is captured, it's going to be different here. So this is what we need to validate every single time. So let's go ahead and smush this a bit. Let's go into our next integration. So what we're doing is that when this happens, then the next step is going to do this. Okay. So in this case, we're going to search for zero bounds. That's what we're going to use as an email validation. And we're going to select validate email. That's the function that we want to use from zero bounds. Let's go ahead and connect. And we're going to add a new connection. We can name it whatever we want here. We'll keep it as zero bounds number two. And we're going to need the API key from zero bounds. So let's go into our zero bounds account. And we're going to go into the API key info. This is the API, your API. There we go. Let's click here to get started. All right, so this is our API key. Let's go ahead and grab it. Let's copy it. Let's go back into Pavli and paste it here. Let's go ahead and save it. And there we go. Now it's validated with zero bounds. So what we want to do is the email is required. This is the variable that's going to be different every single time that a submission is made. So we're going to select job form and we're going to search for the email section. So this variable right here, it's going to be the one that it's going to validate. Now let's go ahead and test request right now. And there we go. The status for this one is valid. So that means it's a valid email. Now, now that we know it's valid or invalid, what do we want to do with this? Well, we want to create a filter so it doesn't continue unless it's a valid email. This way we can send the information to our marketing service or to our CRM. Let's click on plus. We're going to select filter. And in this case, we're going to use the label from zero bounds, the status valid. And we're going to say that if it's valid to 
Well, if it's equal to, we're going to say valid. So that's the status. It's valid. Okay. So let's go ahead and test request. It should continue. So it is successful. Now, if this doesn't contain valid in that value, it won't continue. So let me show you. So if I put a number one, for example, let's go ahead and test. There's an error. Condition is false. The why? Because this is the correct value. So anything that doesn't say valid, it won't continue. So now that we have a filter, the next step is to add whatever automation you want to do. So for example, like I mentioned before, we can use our email marketing service to continue and send our email campaigns or add our CRM to add our contact information to our CRM only if it's a valid email. So this saves, saves us time from having invalid emails, sending email campaigns to an invalid email. And this way we can use that filter using zero bounds and this automation. Now there's other ways that we can check the emails in case you already have submissions and you want to validate, validate those. So we created the automation, but you have already a couple of submissions. So let's go into our jot form. Let's go back into the dashboard and we have created our form, which was this one right here. So we have one submission, the one we tested. Let's go into more submissions. And this will list out all the submissions from this particular form. So we can go ahead and download as a CSV. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back into zero bounds. We can upload our file. So that means that if we have a couple of emails, hundreds, thousands, and you want to validate those because they are not coming in from the new ones on the automation, well, we can select the file here. There we go, the CSV. It's going to read it, validate file, and it's going to read the fields from here. Now, it already knows that this is the email field. If it didn't know, we have to select it manually, so it knows. And it's asking if it's row one is the header row, so in this case, no. And we can go ahead and process this file. Now it's going to validate the emails that are on the CSV. So that's another way of validating emails if you need to do them. Um, once you already have a lot of submissions made on your form. So that is how you can automate the process to validate emails. So you can take these emails and add your contacts to your marketing service or your favorite CRM. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.